Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Stardew Valley where it is a sunny day today and the weather says that tomorrow will be clear and sunny for the Egg Festival. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9am and 2pm. Don't be late, I will make sure to attend and have fun and look for eggs and buy spring related things. But the spirits today are mildly perturbed, that's a, that's a, yeah, it is, it is a great shame. Oh, but we do have some uh, some beans ready. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well. Stop telling me to, to buy things off you. Seriously, I don't have the money. I... Okay, I do have the money now, but I'm... Like, give me a minute to, like, establish myself and even acquire the stone. I have enough stone. I'm still not going to... I don't want a well. That's the, <laughs> I've already got a pond over there. It's fine. The, the plants aren't picky. They're fine with, with pond water. Anyway, if you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just uh, swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 gold when you're ready for it. I, I'm going to buy like all the other things you make, but I don't see much point in, uh, in getting a well because the water is already really conveniently placed, to be honest. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay a hun uh, 110... Uh, which is much easier. Ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Well, now I've, I've got the mission. Apparently, I had to complete a mission in order to receive the mission of getting um, into the adventurer's guild. I need to reach level 40. That is the next uh, quest here. And, uh, oh, I didn't get any sort of reward for getting to the fifth level as well, apart from the letter. But I now have an initiation uh, quest. Also, there's even more mail. What's this one? Dear Bentham, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the Town Square. In Town Square? Town Square. You should arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to attend. You won't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Mayor Lewis, I do not. That sounds awesome. Alright. We have beans. And at the moment that's all, but we can go to the community centre. And whoops, that's my sword. Let's not use the sword. Let's hold a watering can. That's a nice, safe thing that I can't accidentally tear apart my crops with. But yes, we've uh, got our first harvest, and we will continue to get more harvests from this now, and it will be more frequent than the 11 day, 10 days it took? Something like that. Oh, and that is Doug reminding me to go say hi to him. And I will water all our... our I, was, I keep saying turnips, I want, us, I want them to be turnips, but I keep watering... I keep... I can't say words today. Maybe I should just give up. I will go over and say hi to Doug, I will get all these watered. I will regret not putting uh, fertilizer on them, under them, in the soil. Perhaps we should uh, chop down some more trees today, because I went to the mines yesterday. I feel like I've, I've, I've achieved that goal. I can leave it a couple of days before I return and actually start like cutting back some of this greenery, because I've, I've just about cleared the space I'm working in. It's still sort of half covering the, uh, the flowers down there. But uh, it would be nice to just have more room to work in. We can start like making some paths, because now we've got a fair bit of stone as well from the mine. We can we have a bit spare to make some nice little um, stone pathways to walk around on, which will be nice. I should uh, I'll retill this. It's not particularly important, but we might find some seeds. That's that's an axe. That's not you don't till with an axe. Maybe you, you could try. You might get somewhere, but uh, it's, it doesn't seem like that good an idea. But yeah, well, we can get some nice paths going and uh, just make this place look a little bit more like it's not been nuked by a forest god or something. Now we just got the blue jazz seeds left. Oh, I should look at uh, what we need for sprinklers. And also, I've now got so many things planted, I need to fill up the watering can twice. Curse you, Robin. You, you picked the exact right time to advertise your well. You clearly know what you're doing. All right, uh... Yes, crafting sprinkler. So it takes a copper bar and an iron bar. That's not terrible, but it only waters the four tiles around it. So you put it like here, and then it'll water these four. So we'd have like lots of little uh, plots of them, I guess. But uh, it would be very nice to do a bit of automation, as, as is my way with these things. But yeah, this sort of it's a bit of a different way than the than Harvest Moon games usually do it because what they usually have it is the Harvest sprites. Or things like that. In Rune Factory, you have just the monsters. And, oh, okay, apparently I've been working on that one before. That was good. 
But yeah, the the harvest sprites you could like befriend them and uh, do quests to summit for them. I'm not, I can't remember exactly how you sort of gain their friendship. You might have just like given them gifts, but uh, they would come and work for you and water the plants for you and things like that. Whereas in this one they haven't gone for that. They've gone for the the Junimos, and rather than do your work for you, they just sort of give you special gifts if you give them gifts. And uh, instead of using harvest sprites, you just use sprinklers and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to say hi to Doug. Hello, Doug. I will water your bowl. There you go. Just in case you're thirsty. Though you never are, it would appear. We'll chop down this one that is currently blocking you. Sneaky Doug. Takes ten chops and then five on the stump, which is not so great. But it'll improve as time goes on, I guess. We need to upgrade our axe and things like that. We are now quite low on energy. Let's clear this area up here because I keep forgetting to and it's making it a nightmare to navigate around this particular area. Oh, oh we've run out of uh, inventory space. I will go and clear some stuff away. Also, I believe, yeah, the sword doesn't use any energy so I can just hack away at this to my heart's content. Ooh, and acquire some seeds. Excellent. Put away some of this grass stuff as well. There we go. Opening things up a little bit. But we'll, uh, we'll dump all this random gummies we've got. Uh, ooh, we're getting there with the wood now. And we've uh, mostly restocked on uh, sap. I don't know whether fiber is used for much, really. I think we used it for the scarecrow. But I don't know if anything else uses fiber. Oh, campfires do. We can make one of those. That'd be nice. Light the place up a little bit. But at the moment, we want to keep all the wood we can so we can make that uh, that bridge in the beach, on the beach. Across the beach, through the beach, around the beach, over the beach. How much energy have we got? A little bit more. We'll cut down these bits of wood around here. Oh, there we go. And this one. And that leaves the place uh, nicely clear. But let's go in here, because I haven't showed people this yet. Random cave. There's not actually anything in it. It's completely empty. It will come in uh, useful a little bit later on. For the moment, we can just leave it. There's more stuff. We've we got a bit of time today. We'll wander over here and get stuck on all the things. And if we can't get through, then there's nothing I can do because I've got no energy left. I've got one energy, so I think definitely if I did any sort of action, it would be a problem. I can still cut grass, though. That helps. There we go. We can make it fight our way through. Oh, I cut down some, some young trees there by accident. Here we are. There's a note. Bentham, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Now here's the thing. How do you know which is my third year? Because I've like had this letter for years, like double digit years, because it was XX years later. Yes, this is Grandpa's shrine, which you can't really see very well because there's a tree. We'll cut that down at some point. Yeah, this is how far our, uh, our farm goes. We've got a little sort of wrecked greenhouse thing there. All this stuff becomes more relevant later, but how would Grandpa know when we've been here for three years? Like, he's, he's potentially dead. At the very least, like, not here, like in some retirement home somewhere. But somehow he's aware of the exact time that I arrived. And is able, like, apparently, he, he so claims, to arrive exactly a year from that moment. I will keep hold of the seed. I'm going to grab a single spring onion and eat it so I have enough energy to plant this one seed. Here we go. And maybe I should have put uh, fertilizer on it, but I forgot. And we don't know what it was going to be anyway, so it could have been some random thing that was rubbish anyway. I don't know. I think like anything you can grow can be gold quality. Guess we'll take we'll take all the green beans. We could sell them at Pierre's. It's a Friday, so he is open. Nothing else in particular I'm looking to sell. So we'll set off, drop off a green bean in the community center. And a wander around and say hi to people. Ooh, there's a dandelion. Oh, really? That's, that's our first dandelion since the whole thing. That's the thing. Now that I have them, doesn't matter anymore. They're gonna they're gonna spawn however they like. Everywhere. Ooh, there's some worms. Another good reason that I ate that uh, that one spring onion. There we go. Also, I'm gonna sort my inventory. That probably makes sense. And get used to it in its sorted formation. Because if I get used to it in an unsorted one, then I'll never be able to use the sort function without it driving me mad. Oh, we have a mission! What is the mission? 
Oop, that is the, the calendar. Currently nothing going on tomorrow the Egg Festival. And then Haley's birthday. Help wanted. I need a bream to rub on my sore knee. Okay. Please bring one as soon as you can, Demetrius. As a man of science... Like, does that mean... Does that mean that, that breams genuinely are a, a good solution for sore knees in this particular universe? I'll get 135 gold for it, so I guess we could do some fishing, though I have literally no energy. I'll accept the quest anyway and, and see what I could do. I think I got breams from the river. I think that's the only place I've really fished so, so far. Oh, hello, Abigail. I'm definitely going to enter the egg hunt tomorrow, are you? Of course, I think, if I can. Also, I forgot to say hi to Harvey out there. We were so distracted by the notice. Hello, Pierre. Business has been slow since George moved into town. Hard to compete with their selection. I don't know why. They, their prices are higher. It doesn't make any sense. It's the complete opposite of what you would expect. Yes, I'm going to sell you all but one green bean. That should be fine. There we go. So close. So close. I'll send you sell the dandelion too. Soon. Soon. Oh, uh, maybe I should buy some seeds because tomorrow this won't be open because it'll be the egg festival. So I don't know what might grow tomorrow. The parsnips might. So I don't think that's quite yet. I'm worried now. I don't want to miss a planting day. Hmm. I. I'll I'll leave it because I want to have some money spare for the egg festival. There's some stuff they sell, and I've I've forgotten what it is, but I might want some. So who knows? Right. Uh, let's go fishing. Oh, we we don't have any. I didn't bring any spring onions either, so I can't even use those. We'll we'll hop back to the farm and grab some and make this a fishing day. Oh, hello, Mayor Lewis. I sort of went off track there, but I ended up bumping into you. I hope things are going well in Turnip Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. I would hate to hate to do. I, I guess I already have done, because I saw it in its wrecked state. Haley is ignoring me. Okay. It's your birth... Like, that's not a, a, a good idea when it's your birthday soon, and I'm going to be deciding whether or not to give you a gift. But I'm going to hope that uh, if I'm nice, you'll be nice. And that sort of thing. Right. We have our green bean. All we need now is a cauliflower, and we have them currently growing. One of them's going to be ready very soon. Maybe even tomorrow? I Possibly not quite that soon, but it is one of the mixed seeds that I think I planted on day one, so I think they take 12 days? It's like 12 or 13, so definitely very soon. I think it might be one of the ones we planted on day one, so I think we might get it tomorrow and we'll get the bundle completed and find out what on earth we're getting. I have no idea what the reward is for this. I have completely forgotten. Might just be like 30 cauliflower seeds or something. Which would be fairly nice, because they're low maintenance. Well, actually, you do still have to water them, but you don't have to worry about harvesting them and stuff all the time. Thinking about it, I think the turnips do grow tomorrow, he says, as Pierre's closes. Because I think, yeah, I think it's it was the 5th and then the 9th and then the 13th is the pattern. So I think tomorrow I'm just going to have to harvest them and then not plant anything new. I could just plant some some, uh, well, I have them there, some sp spring seeds, but I want to have two plots of these going, I don't, and I don't want to go, like, have too many plots, because then I'll spend all my time just, uh, let's grab some algae too. I'll just be spending all my time watering things, which is no fun. We'll start eating them as we go. I just sort of build up a, well, I think we'll just eat all of them. There seem to be a fair few available from day to day in the forest, and I don't know if there's any particular use for them. I think they're just a thing that's there. A nice little helper. Like the, I guess they spawn in spring like specifically because you need a little bit of extra help in your first spring to uh, to get your farm up and running. But yeah, this should get our energy bar like a third full, which should be plenty for a bit of fishing. We'll try and get ourselves a bream and give it to Demetrius. I will say hi to everyone because everyone is here. The food at Georgia Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. The, the second half sounded like an advert, but at least you prefaced it with it's terrible food. Don't you have work to do? Well, I mean, sort of work. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? F farmer guy? I should have totally called my character Guy, and then it would have made so much sense. Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. Okay. Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than last time. Pretty cool strategy. That, that sounds good. 
that seems like a good way of doing it. Right, we'll uh, be near the. Well, I guess. Wait, where, where, Dimitris was was he going up at the time? We'll just well we'll have a quick poke around for a bubbling spot just in case there is one handy. There's Maru. Nope, nothing. I guess we'll just fish off this bridge or something. And there we go. Haven't done this for a little bit, so I might need. I might have got rusty. Yeah, with the lack of bubbles, it's going to take a little bit longer to actually acquire any fish, unfortunately. But I guess we'll we'll have a bit of a poke around. Unless we just immediately get a bream, that's always possible. Oop. Oh, I lost the perfect. I panicked. Easy. And that is a small mouth pass. Try again. Oop. Sudden music cut off at 7pm. Come on with the bream. I don't know what the conditions are for bream. Oh wait, aren't they like a nighttime fish? I suddenly seem to remember that... Oh, but does it count as nighttime? Because I caught one at like six before. So by that reasoning, this counts as nighttime. It is getting dark now. So that's a good sign. That we will get one. And I think it was sunny on the day as well and everything. So all the conditions should be correct. Unless it's like a polony day or something silly. Getting nothing but smallmouth passes. That was a very quick bite though. I mean, we can still sell these. We can get a fair bit for these and have it like probably. Oh, I got a perfect. I didn't even realize. And that is a bream. Fantastic. Let's go. Waste no more time. We will go give this to Demetrius and then I guess continue fishing. Seeing as we're doing it already. We don't have a huge amount of inventory space. I brought like my sword and everything with me. Maybe not the best idea. I mean, I could use it to cut down uh, grass and things. Demetrius, can I come say hi? I can come say hi, but you're not here. Okay, I guess Demetrius is... Ooh, what is Maru doing? What is that? That looks terrifying. Actually, it sort of reminds me of the mining vehicle in the game Motherload. The... The Flash game. I used to play that loads when I was like 10. I don't know why it reminded me of that. I guess it's sort of... it's a sort of vaguely similar shape. Ooh, a uh, cutscene! It's Linus! And uh, I have, I have seen this cutscene. Yes, he's 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 doing what I was doing at the start of the of the series, rummaging in the bins. He's right. There are cool things in there, and probably food. And oh, I'm over here now. I was up there before. Who knows? Grr, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned up at just the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. It's a good job that I have magic vision and I can see around corners and know that it's not a raccoon. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Okay. Hello, Linus. Oh, it's the sad music. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. It's true. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? So, yeah. I can say, yes, it's disgusting if I'm feeling very mean. I say, no, it's a shame for food to go to waste, and I, that, I, I agree with that. I mean, people throw away food all the time. I mean, it's a bit weird. I mean, it, it is illegal. That's the thing. That's the thing about these choices that you get presented with these in the, uh, in the cutscenes, and they're always difficult. Sometimes because it doesn't give you the option you want to say. You have to take a stance. It's yes or no, but you do still have options within that. That's a, that's another meme. One. No, but you should get a job and stop leeching off others. I mean, I don't know his situation. I don't know why he hit, is how he is. Perhaps he's tried to get a job and he just can't. Or maybe there's some other reason. Maybe he just prefers that life. It's hard to say. I mean, he seemed... He was he was sorry for... Rummaging. Hmm. I would like to say, like, it's, it's illegal, but I get where you're coming from. But then, uh, maybe that's just me wanting to not get involved in the debate. I... 
I'm gonna say that it's a shame for the food to go away to, to waste because it's true and George doesn't care about what's in his bin because it's his bin that, that's sort of reasoning I'm going for yeah we'll, we'll go for that one thanks Bentham I knew you were an open-minded person I feel good about what I'm doing I'm not harming anyone it's true even if they they're not happy about it and I don't know. It'd be nice if you could come to an agreement, but I don't think you would ever be able to, like, knock on someone's door and say, Hey, can I rummage in your bins? That that wouldn't work. I don't know. Basically, you shouldn't be. But I see why you are. That That's the ultimate thing. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Alright. See you, Linus. And, and then he, he immediately goes and rummages in the next bin. Also, where did I go? I didn't come out- I went into the bush and I didn't come out the other end. Um... Anyway, I've got distracted. Yes. Uh, Gus came out and said, wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. That is a very, very nice dance, Gus. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. It's, it's good to know that there are many good people in this town, and you can't exactly blame... Um, George, because... He didn't even know that it was Linus. He thought it was raccoons. Though I've got to wonder what, like, how George would have reacted if he'd known that it was, uh, that it was Linus. Would have been interesting to see them interact, actually, because I don't think they ever really do. Oh, hello, Demetrius. I was just looking for you. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Anyway, I have a bream. Oh, is that the bream I requested? Thank you so much. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. And, hello. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, for the conversation before. Hello, Robin. You met my son, Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. Alright, uh, money. 135 gold. So close. So, so close to the backpack, and I'm probably about to spend a bunch of money on the, uh, the festival. Oh, hello, Abigail. Wait, don't, don't go. Oh, I've always spoken to you, so it's fine. Hello, Sebastian. I'm not too big on festivals. Lots of commotion, too much social interaction. More stress than fun, if you ask me. My little brother gets so excited for festivals. He's been talking about tomorrow's egg hunt all day. Oops, Shane doesn't want to talk. I've already spoken to him. Yeah, everyone seems to be in here today. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Depressing, huh? It's, it's fine. It's good. You're doing what you love, I hope. I would imagine so. Then again, it is what your father was doing and your grandfather, so you might just be continuing the legacy and not actually enjoying the work. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. And the same thing again. Some of them just have... I don't know why some have a conversation loop and some don't. Hello, Mayor Lewis. Good evening, Bentham. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Now, the weird thing was I didn't see the chat option pop up there. It was still the normal mouse. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. I guess he is dead. Or whatever. It's, it seems that way. It's interesting. I can talk to him even though there's no thing that comes up. Hello, Marnie. Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. She's uh, slightly distracted by Mayor Lewis, I guess. Hello, Leah. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Us. Well, you should talk to other people. You're on you're your own there. Everyone else is in pairs apart from Shane, who's doesn't like anyone. Alright, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. And another pint of your strongest. And another pint of your strongest. Oh, God. This has been really good tonight. Is it? Is it? Uh, wait, I forgot a name. Oops. You're pleased, anyway. It's Pam. Pam. Yes, Pam. I know. I knew that. Is the business good because of Pam? Ah, spring. The season of pastels. I usually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Nothing wrong with that? Excellent. 
Hey, I can afford things now. Should I buy something? What do you sell? Beer, salad, bread, spaghetti, pizza, coffee, hash browns, recipes. Ooh, you sell recipes. That's interesting. Loads of them. And random extra portions of pancakes. Two of them. The thing is, I think you can all, you can learn all of these from the uh, from the the cooking channel anyway. Eventually, so I guess I'll leave them. If I urgently need them, I can buy them. Was well, a bit expensive. It's all my money just to learn how to make some sort of like to make Mickey rolls. Mickey rolls. Who knows? Right. Oh, we haven't talked to Pierre. Hello, Pierre. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little re relaxation on Friday night. Could you maybe, like, open your shop for two seconds? I just want to buy some, some parsnip seeds. Episodes already run long, so again with the not playing the arcade games. But I will. I'll get there. Still have a little bit of time for some fishing, but... I don't know, the time it would take for us to get over there and set up, we would have used half the time anyway. We could fish in the little pond in the farm, though I have no idea if that can actually give us fish. However, we can still make use of fishing junk. So I might just give it a shot, in case we do get good things. There we go. Right in the middle, see if we can find something. And even if we get junk, we can still use it in future. We'll just stockpile it for the moment. Of course, we might just never get a bite, what with the fact that the pond may be entirely full of inanimate things that can't bite. It's getting late. Oh, we got a thing. We got some trash. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go to bed before midnight. Oh, but I do want to put some stuff in the... Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the fish in the crate, which means we're just going to miss midnight, unfortunately. I think. Unless we're really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick. Oh, it got stuck. Ah, we got it. I think we did it. I think we made it uh, before 12, so we'll get uh, maximum energy for tomorrow, I do believe. For the egg festival. So we will go to sleep. And see what we got. A decent amount, 150, which I do believe puts us now up to 2,000 gold, which we're immediately going to ruin by buying things at the egg festival, probably. But uh, that's good. 50 for each of those. And uh, we'll have a bunch of parsnips, I think, ready tomorrow to sell as well. And then we should definitely be able to afford the backpack, I think. Maybe. Depends. Well, anyway, with that, I shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.